I want to tell you a story that will disabuse all of us of the, any notion that there's glamour to the writer's life, or at least the external part of the writer's life. A few years ago, like, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago, I had prostate surgery. And when I, when I came out of the hospital, I had a staph infection and a yeast infection. And apparently, which I never knew before, the cure for one makes the other one worse. Like the antibiotics you had to take for one makes the other one worse. So the bottom line was my doctors basically gave up and just sort of left me on this thing. And at the time, I was working on a book. I was working on The Lion's Gate about the Six-Day War. So this is how I had to work. It was right over there, right at that desk that you can't see. I had to, uh, I had to work standing up. I could not sit down. Naked from the waist down. Not underwear, naked with a fan. A fan blowing on me from underneath, you know. And that was how I had to work and do the whole thing. This went on for like six or eight weeks. But the point of this whole story is that was some of the best work I ever did in my life. And I remember reading pages over after the end of the day and I go, am I crazy or is this stuff really good, you know? And so the point of this whole story is that I think we have inner weather and we have outer weather. You know, the outer weather in that case was really, really bad. I mean, I was, you know, obviously I was really struggling, but the inner weather the weather that was about the book and what I was writing was great. And it might, I found many times that when your, your life is kind of at its most screwed up in the external world, that you can do some of the best work on the internal world. In fact, there seems to be sometimes almost an inverse relationship, like the, the worse one is, the better the other one is. So anyway, I just put that out for all of us that if you're struggling, if you're having you know, all kinds of trauma in your real life, don't let that feed into resistance and make you stop because it can be a good sign. Your, your outer weather may be terrible, but the inner weather can be great.